हेलो भूमिका जी हेलो यस भूमिका जी आई एम ऑडिबल यस यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल सर यस प्रोफेसर राजेश गिरी सर एवरीथिंग इज ओके ओके वी कैन स्टार्ट सर प्रोफेसर रितेश सर देन वी कैन स्टार्ट सर बिकॉज टाइम इज नाउ ओके फोर ओ क्लॉक प्लीज स्टार्ट हाँ यस गगन जी प्लीज भूमिका जी प्लीज प्रोसीड ओके सर ओके सर एज राइटली सेड बाय नेल्सन मंडेला एजुकेशन इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल वेपन विच वी कैन यूज टू चेंज द वर्ल्ड अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट अ वेरी ग्रेशियस एंड एन इंक्लूसिव वेलकम to our chief guest of this valedictory session professor rk singh our guest of honor professor gagan sukreja patron of the conference professor madan lal our respected principal sir professor rajesh kiri respected participants and worthy colleagues on behalf of the whole organizing committee i dr bhumika garg welcome you all to the valedictory session of this two days international conference on a vibrant theme sustainable development in commerce management and technology organized by research affairs committee rajdhani college university of delhi indian commerce association delhi ncr chapter and pinaki techno india what an incredible these two days have been now this is the time to celebrate how successfully we have completed our two days long international conference with this positive note i would like to invite professor rajendra kumar organizing secretary of this international conference and the convener of the research affairs committee rajdhani college university of delhi for the valedictory address and to announce the best paper presentations for all the six technical sessions over to you professor rajendra kumar sir thank you thank you bhumika ji thank you so much firstly a very good evening respected professor r k singh ji chief guest of valedictory session of this two days international conference sir is former head and dean professor department of commerce delhi school of economics university of delhi delhi welcome sir professor a very good evening respected professor gagan kokreja ji guest of honor 
of the value dictation department of uh, accounting college of business administration university of bahrain kingdom of bahrain very good evening respected professor judith manjwe ji is also inaugural guest but uh, due to the circumstances madam have not uh, presented in the inaugural session madam from director graduate business school bundira university of science education from zimbabwe welcome ma'am very good evening respected professor madan lal ji patron of this conference professor department of commerce delhi school of economics university of delhi president indian commerce association delhi ncr chapter very good morning respected professor rajesh giri sir chief patron of this international conference of second international conference continuous cir and our visionary and very dynamic and motivator principal rajdhani college university of delhi welcome you all sir a very good evening respected all the participant paper presenters faculty members and research scholars from different part of the country and abroad welcome you in international conference sustainability development commerce and management technology in valid depreciation sir we have more than 150 participation register in the conference including the paper presenter we have received more than 120 papers for presentation in this conference but we have selected 95 papers for presenting in six technical session in during the two days conference all the papers were very good quality of papers and very well manner presenting by the paper presenters during the all technical session our jury members committee have decided one of the best paper in each technical session so i am honored and pleased to announce the best paper award as per the technical session technical session 1 in the jury members of this committee of technical session 1 professor ajay solki ji university school of management kurukshetra university professor g raju former head and dean department of commerce university of kerala and dr bhumika garg co chair of the session this session best paper of the session goes to the miss lehri h and dr komal dave from st joseph college of commerce bangalore university karnataka congratulations and paper title a study of business prospects and environmental impact on the use of menstrual and by the minilian women with the special reference to unsustainability development goals congratulations technical session 2 jury member of this committee of the technical session 2 professor pushpendra kumar department of commerce grodimal college university of delhi professor k v thakkar department of commerce university of mumbai and dr ansika singh co chair of this session the best paper of this session goes to dr baljeet kaur from department of management srm university gaziabad the title of the paper influence of miss sensory mechanism of the consumer behavior congratulations technical essay third jury member of the committee professor g raju from kerala university and uh, professor pushpendra kumar and uh, dr ansika also best paper goes to miss tinu anand and manisha kaushal arora ji guru gobind singh university guru gobind singh indrapras university 
Delhi. Paper title is a comparative study of recovery tools of NAP, sorry, NPA in banks. Congratulations. Technical session four, jury member of the technical session four, Professor K. Y. Thakkar, Department of Commerce, University of Mumbai, and Professor Ajay Solki, University School of Management, Kurchetra, and Dr. Bhumka Garg. The best paper of the session four goes to the Neetu Dayal and Professor Jaya Yadav from Amati Business School, Amati University, Noida. Congratulations. The title of the paper analysis of the relationship between green human resource management and pro environmental behavior prospectus from Punjab National Bank of India. Congratulations. Technical session five. Jury member are Dr. Amna Mirza, academician, author, social entrepreneur, and Professor G. Raju from Department of Commerce, University of Kerala, and Mr. Ravindra Kumar, co-chair of this session. The past paper of this session goes to Ms. Garima Bhardwaj, PGDAV Evening College, University of Delhi. The title of the paper, Spirituality and Organizational Effectiveness, Developing an Integrative Model. Congratulations. And last, Sixth one session, jury member are Professor Anurag Singh from Institute of Management Study, BHU, and Professor Ajay Kumar Solki, University of University School of Management, Kurchetra University, and Dr. Inakshi Re and Gaurav Sarma, co-chair of the session. The best paper of the session goes to Pramil Messiah D'Souza from St. Joseph College of Commerce, Bangalore University, Karnataka. The title of the paper, a study of the demographic factors affecting on the financial inclusion of certain drive special reference to Bangalore urban district of Karnataka. Congratulations and many, many congratulations to all the best paper awardee. Thank you so much for all the paper presenters and participants in the conference. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Rajendra Kumar, sir, for announcing the best paper names. And congratulations to all the winners for the best pre paper presentation title. Moving ahead, I would like to call Dr. Anshika Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajthani College, to deliver the brief report of this two days long international conference. Over to you, Dr. Anshika. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhumika. Uh, good evening, everyone. So I would be reading the report of these two days international conference uh, technical session and then inaugural session. International Conference on Sustainable Development in De Commerce Management and Technology. Two days international conference was uh, organized jointly by Research Affairs Committee, Rajdhani College University of Delhi, and Indian Commerce Association Delhi NCR chapter Pinaki Techno India was inaugurated on 26th of February 2023 at 10 a.m. The occasion saw a plethora of renowned dignitaries, Professor Ganga Prasad Prasen, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Tripura University, Central University Tripura, Professor Balram Pani, Dean of Colleges, University of Delhi, Professor Rajendra Kumar, Director MBA Program, London School of Commerce, London, United Kingdom, Professor Atula Ganapala, Dean Faculty of Management Studies, Sabara Muva, University of Sri Lanka, Dr. Juthir Mevenje, Director, Graduate uh, Business School, Bindura University of Science, Education, Zimbabwe, Professor Madanlal, President, Indian Commerce Association, Delhi NCR Chapter, and Professor, Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics, University of Delhi, Professor Rajesh Kiri, Principal, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi, Dr. Tondrai Fundira, Graduate business, uh, School of Business and Chairperson of Conference and Event Committee Faculty of Commerce, Bindura University of Science Education, Zimbabwe, Professor Amit Kumar Singh, Professor Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics, University of Delhi, Professor Rajendra Kumar, Professor Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi, 
Professor Pushpendr Kumar, Professor of Irodimal College, University of Delhi. Dr. Ajay Solke, Associate Professor, University School of Management, Kurukshetra University. Professor R.K. Singh, former Head Indian Department of Commerce, University of Delhi. We had more than 115 participants attending this inaugural session. Professor Rajendra Kumar gave opening remarks and talked about the importance of sustainable development and why it is need of the art. Chief guest, Professor Ganga Prasad Pisain, discussed the importance of Atmanirbhar Bharat and how being Atmanirbhar can bring a lot of change and help country like India in sustainable development. He also mentioned that sustainable development is necessary for future generation for survival. Professor Balram Panisa briefed the gathering about current competitive era and how technology is uh, becoming obsolete with a fast pace. To sustain this, one must keep up with the same pace. Professor Madhulal said that one must consider the world as their home, which will help in contributing sustainability. Professor Atula Ganapala said, current generation must address the root cause of degrading environment and work towards finding a solution to it. Professor Rajendra Kumar explained about model of three bottom line and how its analysis helps in sustainable development. Professor Rajesh Girisa talked about the importance of understanding the difference between need and greed. He also stated that universe has enough for our need, but not for our greed. Dignitaries congratulated the organizers and organized for organizing such an event, which will be adding to the knowledge of many researchers. Inaugural session ended with a vote of thanks by Professor Rajendra Kumar. We had six technical sessions with more than 90 paper presentations done by the academicians, research scholars. Technical session one on day one was chaired by Professor uh, Dr. Ajay Solke, Associate Professor, University School of Management, Kurukshetra University, and co chaired by Dr. Bhumika Gar, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College. Researchers presented paper from different areas. The essence of the presentations included green purchase intention of consumers, psychological impact of banking innovation service on consumer satisfaction, innovation on higher education for sustainable development growth, green supply chain management in electronic industry, role of microfinance and poverty reduction. Professor Rajesh Solka discussed general queries with the presenters and gave his valuable feedback. Session ended with the vote of thanks by the co-chair. Technical session day one, the technical session uh, two day one was chaired by Professor Pushpendra Kumar, Department of Commerce, Kirodimal College, and was co-chaired by Dr. Anshika Singh, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi. 14 research papers were presented by the researchers, including topic from varied areas, topic like influence of multi-sensory mechanism on consumer behavior, adopting sustainable development measures, analysis on social marketing and sustainability, Sustainability of livelihood for tribal migrants through ecotourism management, impact of COVID-19 on the stock market of BRICS nation. Commerce cabinet post-pandemic dichotomous journey. Professor Pushpendra Kumar highlighted on the major contribution and gave valuable feedback to the presenter. Session ended with a vote of thanks by the co-chair. Technical session three, day two, was chaired by Professor J, uh, G. Raju, former head and dean, Department of Commerce, School of Business Management and Legal Studies, University of Kerala, India, and was co-chaired by Dr. Bhumika Gar, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi. The session included paper topics like analysis of air pollution impact on investor behavior in stock market, issues and challenges in management, forensic accounting, education practice, and career path in India, a study on sustainable finance in India, artificial intelligence, and electronic human resources management. 14 papers were presented in the session. Chair gave his valuable feedback and added to the research work of the researchers. Session ended with a vote of thanks the, by the co-chair. Technical session four, chaired by Dr. Anwar Singh, Associate Professor, Institute of Management Studies, BHU, and co-chaired by Dr. Nakshi Ray, Associate Professor, Department of Economics, and Mr. Gaurav, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College. 14 papers were presented in the session. The content included restoring ethics to economics, impact of COVID-19 on corporate social responsibility, global competitiveness index, national education policy 2020, utilization and choice of healthcare. Dr. Anak Singh appreciated and highlighted valuable contribute, uh, gave valuable contribution, uh, highlighted the valuable contribution by the researchers and also gave valuable feedback. Session ended with a vote of thanks by the co-chair. Technical session five was shared by Dr. Amna Mirza, academician, author, social entrepreneur, curator of ideas and 
co-chaired by Mr. Ravinder Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi. 15 papers were presented in the uh, uh, session and uh, the topics were uh, Agricultural Finance in India, Growth of Unified Payment Interface, UPI, Post-COVID Outbreak, Future Projection of Gross Enrollment Ratio for Higher Education in India, Health Insurance Performance of Ayushman Bharat, Women em Entrepreneur uh, uh, Empowerment, Dr. Amna Mirza discussed and gave her valuable feedback and suggestions to the presenters. Technical session six was chaired by CMA Dr. Kennery V. Thakkar, Professor, Department of Commerce, University of Mumbai, and co-chaired by Dr. Anshika Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Rajdhani College, University of Delhi. 14 research papers were presented in the session and topics included, uh, to topics were like assessing the opportunities and challenges of green finance uh, green finance, digital financial inclusions, Indian portal to sustainable development, impact of HRD practices on uh, perceived organizational performance, perspective study of uh, emotional intelligence on work uh, life balance among female employees, role of, role of insurance in achieving sustainability in Indian uh, economy. Dr. Kennery V. Thakkar gave valuable feedback and suggestion to all the participants. The session ended with a vote of thanks by the co chair. All the sessions were highly educative and informative, and we uh, are sure that the suggestion and feedback by the chair would definitely help in the future researches. Thank you so much, Bhumika. Uh, thank you, Anshita, ma'am, uh, for your report writing. So uh, now, I, Ravindra Kumar, would like to introduce Professor Madhulalji, a pattern of this two days international conference. Uh, Dr. Madhulal is a professor, Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics, University of Delhi. Sir has obtained Doctor of Literacy degree from Institute of Management Studies, BHU, and PhD degree from Himachal Pradesh University Business School, Simla, Himachal Pradesh. And Sir has also obtained MA Economics and MBA International Business from Punjab University, Chandigarh. Uh, sir has experience of more than two decades and Sir has a taught uh, and research experience out of which uh, 13 year in the Institute of Management Studies, Banaras Hindu University. Uh, sir has published uh, four books uh, and also more than a four dozen research papers, including the Science, Web of Science, or ABDC and Scopus uh, journals. And Sir has more than 65 conference uh, presentations in India and also abroad. Sir has completed uh, four research projects and one a consultancy for UGC ICSSR. Uh, sir has also uh, delivered about uh, 20 FDPs, workshops, and conferences of national and international levels. Uh, sir has also delivered lectures at various academic platforms, including in house and corporate training and capacity building programs. Uh, sir was also the chairs or keynote speaker or co-chairs in various uh, conference, uh, seminars, uh, reviews, et cetera. And Sir has also uh, supervised 11 PhDs and six MP students. And there are five PhDs and three MP students are under supervision uh, with Sir. And Sir is also the life member of uh, Indian Commerce Association, uh, Indian Accounting Association, and Indian Economic Association and Rural Marketing Association of India. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Vinda, for your kind words. Welcome, sir. Uh, a respected uh, Professor Ritesh Kumar Singh Ji, uh, former head and dean of Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics, and chief guest of today's validatory function of this conference. Uh, Professor Gagan Tukreja, Department of Accounting, College of Business Administration, University of Bahrain, and guest of honor of this conference, uh, Dr. Judith Mwanje, Director, Graduate Business School, Vindra University, Zimbabwe, and guest of honor, uh, Professor Rajesh Kiri, uh, Principal of Rajdhani College, and the motivation behind this conference. Uh, Dr. Rajendra Kumar, uh, organizing secretary of the conference, uh, dear faculty members, delegates, uh, students, uh, welcome to this valedictory function on international conference on sustainable 
development in commerce management and technology. A uh, lot of deliberation has uh, gone uh, through these two days as evident from the report uh, presented by uh, Hanshika and the best paper award announced uh, by Professor Rajendra Kumar. I will not uh, stand in between the speakers. Uh, just a brief, uh, I will uh, talk about uh, uh, how technology is changing the sustainability. So as far as uh, uh, workplace and the business are concerned, uh, that we know that it is always changing and evolving over the time periods. And when implementing the changes in the organization, uh, then one has to think what type of uh, technology they have to use and then uh, they decide about these technologies. Uh, broadly, these technologies are, say, classified into this disruptive technology and sustaining technology. So disruptive technologies are, uh, or innovations are uh, about uh, the change, the novelty, and the difference which this technology creates. Uh, this, uh, this descriptive uh, innovation uh, that creates uh, like new products are uh, created, new markets are there, demonst uh, which demonstrate some value addition in uh, the existing business and also consumers uh, find new things. The examples are that in 2000, early 2000, you have seen that uh, Apple launched uh, iPod and then the whole uh, experience uh, of uh, listening to the music uh, changed. It was a new thing added to the existing level of the uh, music. And uh, this is uh, called as a disruptive technology. However, as far as sustaining, uh, sustaining technologies are concerned, uh, they are about the developments and improvement or working within the established markets. And then whatever pre-exist products and ideas are there, it enhances these products and ideas, its performance, and makes the things better. For example, we have uh, uh, mobile phones. Uh, every time we see that new features come in the mobile phone, but the, the system remains the same. Uh, these, uh, some of the companies, again, Apple also, uh, you have a mobile phone. Whatever changes come in the software, uh, they are easily accommodated in the software and you are able to use uh, these features uh, quite often. So sustaining these uh, whatever available technologies are there. We have uh, uh, digital technologies which are able to uh, strengthen the privacy, data privacy and security of data. Uh, our resources uh, which are there, uh, they are enhanced due to this technology and the employ uh, employees' efficiencies, workplaces, they get uh, enhanced. So similarly, uh, we have uh, optimization of processes and the uh, technologies which is uh, uh, helped due to this uh, technology. And, uh, one of the last example I would quote of the FinTech which will uh, uh, surely change the landscape of the banking and asset management companies. Uh, in the coming times, you know, uh, we may not be still, uh, as I remember, I have not gone to my bank uh, physically for say more than two, three years. And uh, in the coming years, it's not so many banks might not be there. You have an uh, option like, for example, you go to the market to buy the different products from the market. Uh, it is up to you which uh, product you want to buy. Similarly, everything will be available to you uh, on this uh, um, uh, platform and you can choose any bank where you feel like. For more of it, the situation may come that you may uh, uh, deposit your money uh, or buy any instrument uh, anywhere in the world also. So that, that uh, this FinTech may change the all uh, experience we are having of banking and uh, uh, financing, etc. Uh, so these technologies are uh, those technologies which are able to uh, sustain uh, actually are uh, reducing our uh, costs also and increase the performance and uh, uh, this conference uh, which actually uh, talked about business commerce and technology 
sustainability uh, i in my uh, opinion has achieved its objective of uh, uh, deliberating on these issues uh, my uh, congratulations to the team and uh, thank you very much uh, uh, the organizers uh, from uh, both the sides uh, who have taken a lot of pain in uh, conducting this uh, program and you might have seen that you are very much sustainable that you have actually conducted this uh, uh, conference online saving so many resources uh, congratulations to you uh, this side also thank you very much thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Madan Lal sir, for your constant support and motivation for the successful completion of this two days long international conference. Many thanks to you, sir. Now, taking the propitious moment ahead, I would like to introduce our guest of honor of today's valedictory session, Professor Gagan Kukreja, sir. Professor Gagan Kukreja is a professor in the Department of Accounting, College of Business Administration, University of Bahrain, and has over 24 years of experience in university teaching, training, and research. Professor Kukreja is a recognized PhD supervisor of Brunel University, London, MED University, Noida, India, and lovely professional university, India. Sir's current area of interest is integrated reporting, corporate governance, fintech, blockchain, and big data. Professor Kukreja has published more than 40 research papers and cases in international referee journals. Sir presented his research in many reputed international conferences as well. Further, Professor Gagan Kukreja holds professional qualifications such as ACCA UK, CPA US, CMA both US and India, and CIA US. Sir is a curriculum specialist in the field of accounting, banking, and finance, and developed new programs. In addition, Sir assisted the university in QA, NQF, and accreditation. Sir has organized many seminars, webinars, and conferences time to time. Sir has also served reviewers and editorial board member in many reputed journals. Sir, it's our esteemed privilege and honor to have you with us today. Now, I humbly request Professor Gagan Kukreja, sir, to enlighten the gathering with his words of wisdom. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bhumika Garg. Uh, I hope I, you can hear me, you can see me. Yes, sir. We can see you. We can hear you well, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. So first of all, uh, good afternoon, good evening, everyone who is participating in this event. I'm really honored to, to be part of this conference. This is the second consecutive conference, international conference I am attending. This theme of the conference uh, is really very timely. It is uh, talking about sustainability, develop sustainability, sustainable development, in, in particular commerce management and technology. United Nations is really very serious on uh, 17 SDGs. So it, this uh, conference is addressing those 17 goals. I particularly noticed that students or research scholars or academicians, they presented the papers in different fields like ESC, climate change, green finance, fintech, uh, forensic accounting, uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning. So these are really very uh, evolving areas to, to meet out the sustainable development goals uh, uh, set by the United Nations. I noticed from the report, uh, report by Dr. Anshika Singh that more than 100 uh, papers were uh, submitted to this conference and 95 papers are presented by the a different participant and they are around 150 participants. 
so i really congratulate the the participants and the winners they, they announced the winners as well so i really want to congratulate the winners of these papers the technical technical session chairs who really evaluated and worked very hard to to check the quality of those papers and i i am really uh, i really want to thank the organizers uh, particularly our dynamic and talented professor rajender who is very uh, proactive in this kind of events under the able leadership of uh, professor rajesh giri the principal of rajdhani college uh, they are taking these kind of initiatives time to time and i am honored that i am attending this kind of conference second time and uh, learning new stuff from the very eminent speakers very eminent uh, guest i am really uh, i really enjoyed the discussion the short discussion by professor madan lal just before me before i start my talk and i am really thankful to other uh, organizers like uh, from rajdhani college research development uh, committee research affairs committee indian commerce uh, association delhi ncr chapter pinaki uh, techno india who are organizing this event jointly and i am particularly uh, thankful to other uh, conference organizer team members like uh, dr anshika dr mubika uh, and the other team members who are working behind this behind this behind the scene so i am really thankful to those people who are sharing the ideas and i am sure uh, the expert opinions which they receive from the experts uh, will help in improving the quality of their work and now research and development is really very very important especially when the india is moving towards this atam atam nirbhar bharat which is the which is a punch line given by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi so i am sure this kind of conference will give new insights new ideas new deliberations to the researchers the researchers will be benefited and especially the students who are doing phd they will uh, they will come to know how they can conduct research how they can write the papers so uh, at the end i really want to thank all these uh, conference organizers participant winners the technical session chairs the uh, the other guest of honor chief guest patron co patron organizing team for this wonderful task thank you so much thank you so much sir for such motivating words and observing the report and giving your feedback about it thank you so much it is always great to listen to you sir thank you once again people thank will you. forget thank you so much people will forget what you said people will forget what you did people will never forget how you made them feel our next uh, guest hardly needs any introduction Professor R K Singh Sir was head and dean, Faculty of Commerce and Business, the largest faculty of Delhi University. Sir is an academician with rich, rich experience and has made a valuable contribution through writings for national and international journals, published in Rutledge, uh, Taylor, Francis, Springer, Emerald, etc. In the broad domain of managing human resources, with the focus on effectiveness and spirituality. Sir has been the editor of Business Analyst, now on editor board and reviewers panel of international journal like Business Ethics, Management Decisions, Journal of Organizational Change Management, International Journal of Organizational Analysis, Journal of Applied Research in Higher Education, etc. In addition of, uh, to a fusion of qualitative and quantitative, Sir has more than 30 years of experience in academics and corporate training and consultancy. Sir has held various positions of responsibility, including chairman of governing body of Bharti College, University of Delhi, member academic council of Mahatma Gandhi International Hindi Central University, Maharashtra, member of academic council of Manav Rajna University, Haryana, and Lucknow University, Uttar Pradesh, Madhav Institute of Technology, Gwalior. In addition, Sir is a member of governing body, Narsi Munje College of Commerce and uh, Economics, Mumbai, and SIES College of Commerce and Economics, Mumbai, 
sir is a member of board of uh, studies of various institution like Pondicherry Central University, Ignu Sikkim University, SRM University, GD Goenka University, SGT University, etc. Sir is an expert panel member of University Grant Commission, Ministry of Education, Government of India. As corporate trainer, sir has successfully headed various training programs in India leading organizations like Vedanta, Balco, Forest Research Institute, FRI, uh, Defense Research Development uh, Organization, DRDO, Punjab Polish, uh, Police, uh, in Indian Institute of Public Administration, IIPA, Ericent Technologies, National Hydro Power Corporation, NHPC, Steel Authority of India Limited, SAIL, Gas Authority of India Limited, Indian Farmer Fertilizers Corporation, uh, Corporation JK Cement Limited, Pandit Deen Deyal Upadhyay National Academy of uh, Social Security, VMAT, etc. Sir's contribution as a trainer have been well acknowledged and appreciated. Sir, interventions at uh, corporate have won applause among HR practitioners. Sir, it is our great pleasure and we feel fortunate to have you here with us today and it will be a privilege to listen to you, sir. We welcome you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Anshika Singh. Thank for you. your humbling uh, introduction. Respected uh, principal of Rajdhani College, Professor Giri, Professor Madan Lal, ICNCR chapter's president, Professor Rajinder Kumar, Professor uh, Kukreja, Professor Jodit, other uh, organizing committee members, presenters, scholars who are here with us from different geographies, different continents. I'm happy to be here today. And uh, It would be right on my part to acknowledge that this college, Rajdhani, which is there in the Rajdhani of this country, is in the real sense of the term proving that they have capital-like acumen. And for that, uh, the skipper, the crusader, Professor Giri, the principal, that deserves compliments. It is Professor Giri's uh, democratic style of leadership where he takes people along and makes them to either to the task which helps academia to grow. For that, undoubtedly, it deserves compliments. Professor Rajinder Kumar, uh, who always takes lead to create one or the other platform for academic interactions, rubbing the shoulders, it deserves compliments. And the dedicated team of Rajdhani College the youngsters, the, those who are there at the back, they're the complete team which goes for creating a gestalt, a holistic impact. For that, every one of you deserve high words of appreciation. It is uh, one of the many occasions uh, where I have got opportunity to be with you and I have seen that how academic institutions create such activities which at the end of the day does not remain activity a solo activity rather gets culminated into something very fruitful helping academics institutions researchers stakeholders to think, to mull over, to ponder upon, and 
take their understanding to the next level. And in that line, this conference, which was on sustainable development in commerce management and technology, I'm sure that two days of deliberation, it might have taken many to build a new understanding. When I look at uh, the topic of the conference, I don't work in this area, but my understanding, my training to understand things is to see things in their own context and then try to find out a thread which can be interwoven to create a bigger narrative. The first term which talks about sustainability. What uh, UNO says, what is the common understanding about sustainability is to achieve eternity. Sustainability is to achieve constancy, long-term existence. It is very pious a theme without sustainability. The survival in present times is not possible. And if academics will not think about sustainability, who will think of? But the larger notion of this sustainability is based on consumption. And sustainability pessimists and sustainability optimists both talk about that whatever resources are accessible to us, we should consume it in such a way that it should be made available and accessible to coming office breaks. So consume today and live for tomorrow. This is very holy a uh, definition, a philosophy. But yesterday in the inaugural, when Professor Giri was talking, he was saying that we are addressing our greed or we are addressing our need. So if consumption is infused by the greed, which is never ending, never satiating, with that kind of the need, to me, sustainability remains a dream. For example, I have three years old uh, smartphone, which is giving me all utility. It is a high-end smartphone, but three years old. My kids are after my life now that three years have gone with this phone and you should change. So I often ask them question that I should change because, so they say that because there is new technology which has come up. There is a new supply. But my question is that I will go for buying a product which is of my need, which I demand, or I will go for accepting a product which market is supplying. So if supply side infused demand is there, sustainability, how we are going to achieve, I think the scholars in two days time might have gone for looking at this aspect of sustainability. The second uh, term in your topic is development. Development, uh, not going into very academic meaning of development and bookish definition, but the development to me is improvement. And if improvement, what we are looking at is improvement in our disposable income, improvement in uh, our standards of living, improvement in our consumption and the parameters of the development, national development, what we are finding that that is talking about more concretized roads, more expressways, 
more flights, more consumption of electricity, more concretized houses, more consumption of internet, more mobility from one place to other, et cetera, et cetera. If this is the notion of the development and resources are limited and resources are not self-generative, the kind of paradox which, are, which we are creating of this development, to what extent it would be sustainable that needs to be de deliberated upon and scholars in two days might have addressed some of the concerns. When we are talking about construction of more expressways, highways, then this construction is on arable lands. If this construction is on arable agricultural lands, so what kind of paradox we are creating? That lesser fields, lesser land would be accessible for farming and more for road side mobility. So what kind of model, what kind of the development we are talking about? If you're talking about more airways, so the friction, the emission, that is, that is going to cause, is creating and going to cause further the problem there in the ecosystem, the environment. So what kind of the development we are talking about? The more and more consumption of internets, that is taking life of the birds and giving rise to animates which are signal prone. So what kind of imbalance we are creating there in our ecosystem, environmental ecosystem in the name of development that needs to be deliberated upon. The construction of more roads and mobility, we are talking about that this is the sign of the development and uh, the more and more opportunities are being created with this mobility. So the, the, the metrics of the development with this mobility has created that is very lopsided. You look at the pressure of the labor, the pressure of the manpower there on the cities as compared to to, to the rural areas. This is just because of this mobility. This is just because of the model of the development what we have adopted. And uh, the third aspect, which is technology. Technology, which is uh, to me is a tailor-made science, which is created for fulfilling the unfulfilled need, the latent needs of the society. Technology which uh, gives a resource liberating experience. And this technology where the digital, physical and biological world, they are coming closer. And new things like 3D printers, cryptography, sensors, drones, internet of everything, synthetic biology, which has produced designer babies, which would be completely free of all the known ailments. Green uh, engineering, which claims that in times to come, we will not be feeling the scorching heat as and when we want. We will make sun to reduce the potency of its scorchiness. As and when we want the winter to get prolonged, we will do it as and when we want our glaciers not to melt we will do it as and when we want more rain more sunshine more night more days the green engineering engineering uh, uh, scientists they are visualizing that these things would be possible in times to come those who are working in the area of synthetic biology they are claiming that in times to come they will go for redefining death and IT giant Google has already made investment close to $200 billion in Calico project, where they are working that how to win over death. 
So technology, which is present in everybody's uh, life in one way or the other, and there is no possibility of life without technology, which is omnipotent, which is omnipresent, present, which is which is giving us more power to have control, which is empowering us to create a new human, which is creating more options, helping us to create more, more options, which is fostering the development, adding impetus to the rate of development, which is helping us to transcend time, space, geography, and characters. So with the combination of the sustainability, development, and technology, the kind of metrics which is created, that is, on one hand, very encouraging, very empowering, very facilitating, which without which, without combining the, these three, no talk, no, no academic or, uh, or policy makers or the, or the practitioners debate, is possible without talking about these three. Let's look at the rest two uh, 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 terms which are there in your, uh, in your topic, that is commerce and management. And I'm taking it that this commerce and management, when you are referring, you are talking about the education of the commerce and management. So before that, let's talk about education. So to me, what education is, education gives the experience where your horizon gets broadened, where we are able to relate ourselves with the context, which gives us meaning to our life. And Mahatma Gandhi used to say that the true education is to correspond to the surroundings, correspond to the circumstances, without which the healthy growth will not be possible. This education which should connect us, empower us to connect with the surroundings. This is education which gives us liberating effect from whatever got fixated. And in, in Vishnu Puran, it is said that tat karma yatna bandhaya sa vidya ya vimuktai aya saya aparam karma vidya anya shilpa naipunam meaning thereby that Effort is one which does not create attachment. And education is one which, le which leads liberation. All other efforts are simple activities. And all education, other than what is giving liberation, it is only a craftsmanship, only a skill building. So if this is the pious goal of education, which is more empowering, more soothing, Commerce and management education to me is this part of education where we are finding out solution to specific issues. So commerce and management's objective education of commerce and management is having its focus on finding out the solution to the issues, applying what has been learned through the education of commerce and management. Now I see that there are two dialectics of this topic. On one hand, there is sustainable development and technology. On the other hand, there is education. Whatever development it is, is, is taking place in education, education we take with all, with all humility, with all feeling of rosiness. We find that this helps us to get blossomed. It is very evolutionary in nature or on whatever level of education we are at. On the other hand, when we are talking about the technology and the so-called development of today, when we are separating it from so-called sustainability, we are taking the present development and particularly the technological development with a pinch of salt. And technology pessimist and optimist both are saying that the technology which is boon, which is empowering us, which is giving us liberating effect, but there is a caution. Chat GPT, 
artificial intelligence, virtual reality. The, the, the historian, the brightest historian I ever I have seen of present times, Yuval Noah Harari, in his book, Homo Deus, he says that in times to come, where everything of us would be converted into a data, into a byte, there would be possibility of cloning of RK Singh, 100 RK Singh gets cloned, and they are at the same time, one is there in Bahrain, other is there in Zimbabwe, the other addressing gathering there at, uh, at uh, 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 your Rajhani College, the other is there in the Department of Commerce, the other is there at home, because the clo if cloning is possible, many clones of our casing and so others would be accessible. And for anything and everything, one clone would be negotiating with the other, other clone. This is what we are visualizing the future of the technology would be. But whatever the technology's future we see, we always take it with a caution that technology should not go for overpowering mankind. But the so is not the narrative in case of education. So technology, what we say that is a very disruptive, it is changing its course every hour. So is not the case with education. So when we are mixing the two, education with this technology and development, what kind of the relationship we are visualizing as an academic? One which is very soothing in nature, the another which is very monstrous in nature, what kind of relationship we are visualizing? Are we visualizing this relationship of engagement, which is very romantic, which is very fantasized, where both those who are engaged, they are there uh, uh, are ready to sacrifice for each other? Or we are talking about the relationship between the technology and education of a marriage kind. After some times, everybody starts uh, talking about that, what my rights are and how I will go for proving that I'm better than others. Or what is the in vogue these days that the relationship between the technology and education we are visualizing as relationship, living relationship, where there is no legality, there is no legal boundary. So as an academic, I'm sure that you might have gone for looking at the relationship between the technology development and education, because the nature of both are very different. To me, education is of very sattvic in nature. And technology and the development, they are very rajasic and tamasic in nature. So the, which one is dominant? Which one is taking superiority? And which one is remaining subservient? As education, as a, as, as a, as a student of commerce and management, what I will, what I'm seeing? Am I seeing the technology as something which is given and I have to go for tweaking my education as per the requirements of the technology? I will go for uh, having only the received perspective of the technology and development, that what the UN says, what the Western world says, or what XYZ says, I will go for taking that as my sustainable technological development model. And on the basis of that, I will go for tweaking my education so that there's a right kind of the mix is created. Yesterday, you were talking about national education policy and addressing the concerns of the technology sustainable development in commerce and management education. I ask a very blunt question to you, which majority of teachers like me will not take in the right spirit. That roughly for two and a half years, we were using technology to impart education when we were made to go for online teaching learning. And how many of us have gone for training ourselves that, that how to go for imparting education when it is not offline and online? Or we have gone for using a substitution model of uh, teaching learning as we were not going to, to our classes physically, therefore we are, we are there in the classes digitally. Is this what is our understanding of the, of the, of the relationship between the technology and, uh, and education? This, is, this needs to be deliberated upon, and I'm sure that in two days, you might have given thought for this. Because if education will not go for creating some, some, some ideation, some becoming some, some, some innovative, uh, 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 creating innovative platform, so that uh, the, the more creativity is, uh, is brought in in the education, 
not for acceptance of the technology. We will not be consumers of technology. We will be, we should be the prosumers of the technology. We will produce the technology of our choice. And if need be, we will accept it. If we will take that something is given, Google Classroom is given, or MS Team is given, or Zoom is given, and we have to go for tweaking our presence using these. So I think uh, the, the place of academic in times to come will get marginalized. So there is need to need to work upon it. Because the market created realities, the market driven realities, if we will go for placing ourselves according to that, then our existence in times to come will get jeopardized. We as an academic, we have to bring a critical thinking and seeing that where, where this education is heading to and how we can think of bringing that technology. Else, the bounty and the spread of the technology, the reality it is creating. We, may, we always talk about the technology has gone for, uh, uh, Professor Madan Lal was talking about uh, uh, what, what technology has given. Undoubtedly, technology has given uh, a great deal to us. But at the same time, the researchers of the class swab, the founder, uh, chairperson of the World Economic Forum, he says that the technology has not been able to improve the total factor productivity of labor. It is improving the total factor productivity of capital. So if the total factor productivity of labor is not on rise, what kind of intermix of technology, education, and humanity we are, we are seeing? So I think uh, you might have gone for uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, some of uh, these aspects. When we have to make our education sustainable, keeping in view the kind of the development that the technology is taking place, there is need to mull over that what the discipline is and what are the anchors of the discipline. Recently, we have gone for uh, uh, revising our curriculum on the basis of national education policy. Very good. And many new things, new experiments have been made. There is need to think over that what commerce is, what, is, what are the anchors of the commerce? Because commerce in itself is not a discipline. There is embedded element of interdisciplinarity in commerce. So what commerce is? Is commerce accounting? Is commerce management? Is commerce law? Is commerce some analytical tools? What commerce is? Or is commerce economics? And if commerce is all, we find that anything and everything it will go for, including there in the commerce, then this mix of sustainable development technology for commerce and education, this I think will take a very long time. And so when we are talking about the long-term existence of, of your education, your existence, that will be there only when you mull over, you think and go for sifting, sorting, winnowing and culling that what is, what is needed and how you can go for taking wheat out of chaff. If we will not be able to do it, and only we will accept. So that will go for creating a different kind of orientation. We may be happy that new changes have taken place, but those new changes are something like uh, what we call as a uh, uh, proselytization. Something like that somebody has said, so therefore I will do it. There are this uh, 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 psychologist, uh, a great psychologist of present time, Adam Grants. He says that there are three sets of, three set of mindsets. One is the preacher's mindset. The other is prosecutor's mindset. And the third is politician's mindset. The preacher's mindset, he said that the people, those who are not very sure about their own anchors, they might have, seen not, they might have not seen the God, but they are preaching God and making others to believe it. So are we having the preacher's mindset? that we have not experienced, we have not reached to a point, but we are saying that you know, this what is the reality. The second he says that is a prosecutor's mindset. The prosecutor's mindset is what Adam Grants in his writing think again, that is to find fault in others, that I will prove my point only when there is fault in others. So it is creating a will-lose situation. And then, it, then he says that there is a third mindset that is politician's mindset. The politician's mindset is 
that in order to nurse the constituency, I will create the reality which will take public along. So he says that if you want to survive, and in the real sense of the term, education, if it has to survive, then there is a need to build a fourth mindset that is the scientific mindset, generating the data. And with the generation, this, uh, somebody has uh, unmuted. Please mute yourself. So if you want to survive, if you want to sustain, if you want to let this technology and education and the development to sustain in commerce and management, then there is a need to bring a scientific mindset, generate the data, analyze it, look at that how it is serving the, serving the cause. And for that, the, that for that what is required that whatever has got fixated less with all humility less accept that the knowledge it is knowledge only it is information the right information which can go for giving us something so that we can broaden our horizon the second that we must go for creating a doubt about our own convictions means there is a possibility for change creating a possibility for change and the third that we must have the curiosity to listen to alternatives. What uh, uh, the great uh, uh, the here, uh, Bernard Sa used to say, can't change anything. So he is talking about that for changing and keeping pace, there is a need to build a scientific bent of mind built upon not a given truth. We are all working on looking at the reality and the larger picture, the grandeur of the reality, we would be able to look at whether it is sustainability or education, commerce, business education or other education, only when we think over with open mind that how we can embed the things given along with keeping the superiority of education because Margaret Mead, a great uh, education psychologist, he said that there are three levels of education, the proto, the deutero, and tertiary. The proto level of education is helping you to identify the pattern. The deutero level of education is to making you to cultivate the habits. And tertiary level of the education is habits of not having any habit. The way things are changing, the way technology, the disruption technology is creating, the way Fixity in, is, is absent and fluidity is on rise and attention is a very scarce resource. There is a need to look at the third requirement of uh, education that we should keep on changing at a very faster pace, yet remembering that what are the anchors of the discipline and education, what for we are here. I'm sure that uh, with these uh, unstructured vague ideas of mine, you, you, you will uh, find something to ponder later and greater aspect of uh, these things uh, you might have uh, deliberated in the last two days. Uh, uh, thank you so much again, organizers, uh, for uh, giving this opportunity to me to share uh, my uh, very vague uh, ideas on uh, this uh, sustainability development technology and commerce and management. And thanks again, Professor Giri and Professor Rajinder and other organizers that uh, you always take uh, create a platform for uh, for academic and scholars uh, to come together and think and uh, find out the solution to the given issues. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. It is always wonderful to listen to you, sir. Your content is so fresh and your own that it is very difficult for us to summarize in few lines. So it is our, we are fortunate enough to have you here with us and we listen to you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, may I have the privilege of calling uh, our guest of honor of inaugural session, Dr. Juthid Mavenje. Dr. Juthid Mavenje is a PhD holder in business administration with a focus on leadership. Ansika, Ansika ji, uh, sorry to interrupt. Sir, ma'am is here. She's left the meeting. Hannah, ma'am, please uh, okay, continue okay. forward, please. So now we have the privilege of uh, calling our strongest pillar of the institution, our strongest leader, nodding to all the difficult situation and saying, go ahead, I'm there with you. So 
Uh, may I have the privilege of calling our principal, sir, Professor Rajesh Giri, to say a few words at the end of this conference. Thank you, Dr. Anshik. Thank you, Dr. Anshik. And very good evening to one and all. It's very difficult to say or uh, to express anything after the fascinating lecture of uh, Professor R.K. Singh. Whenever I attend his lecture, whatever may be the topic, so fascinating, full of information, full of idea, full of logic, and uh, a vision uh, in future what we are supposed to do. So, sir, thank you so much. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank uh, all the guest speakers, uh, Professor Gagan Kupreja ji, then Professor Madan Lal ji, and uh, uh, Professor R.K. Singh, our chief guest, uh, in this valedictory session of two days international conference. I was just listening uh, the report of this two days conference, the kind of subjects, the kind of areas, uh, papers were presented. Uh, and in last uh, lecture of uh, Professor R. K. Singh, where uh, he deliberated upon the sustainability, the way he defined, the way he has given a view of sustainability, then technology, and then structural development. Uh, really, the way, I mean, uh, you are so humble in saying that unstructured uh, ideas, but it is so structured. And nowadays, because uh, we are living in a, a global village and uh, whatever is going on in any part of the world, directly, indirectly, we are going to, uh, we are going to experience the consequences. Whatever we do and what we plan to do, uh, I think there should be uh, our human being centric because uh, this is not a time to discuss so many things, but uh, uh, in nutshell, what I'm trying to say, whatever we do, we must keep in our center the human being, how they're going to be benefited. Although I have so many things to share, but I don't think this is the time. Uh, due to the development of uh, this AI, and uh, nowadays we are talking about Chat GPT, where uh, this uh, uh, digital world will go, where these all uh, uh, digital techniques will end, we have to think about it. But I 100% I agree uh, with the, what uh, Professor R K Singh has just deliberated upon that uh, the the NEP 2020 and uh, the education and the management and the commerce. Uh, we have we should give a relook. So I don't want to say much because already this is a quarter past five. So thank you so much, and once again my heartiest welcome and congratulations to my entire team. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, respected principal sir, for your words of motivation. You are genuinely uh, the source of inspiration for all of us. Without your support, no event is possible. Being a catalyst, you always inspire us to do our best and stand as a pillar of strength. Thank you once again, sir. Now we come to the end of this valedictory session. Once a great man whispered, feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. No event can happen without the provision of the vast network of people. And I, Dr. Bhumika Garg, would like to submit our gratitude to all who were involved in conducting this two days international conference on sustainable development in commerce, management, and technology. I, on behalf of the whole organizing committee, first of all, extend my most sincere thanks to the almighty God for making this international conference a resounding success. With his blessings and grace, we are able to make this event what it was. Words are not enough to thank our chief guest of today's valedictory session, Professor R.K. Singh, sir, 
for not only sparing his valuable time for all of us to grace this occasion but enlightening the gathering with his commendable talk on the subject sir we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence our heartiest gratitude goes to the guest of honor of today's valedictory session professor gagan kukreja sir for taking out time from his busy schedule and becoming the part of this two days international conference we are grateful for the cooperation and contribution of the chairs of the technical sessions professor g raju cma dr kinnari v thakkar ma'am professor pushpendra kumar sir dr ajay sholke sir dr amna mirza ma'am dr anurag singh sir who actually agreed to be the part of this two days international conference and share their valuable knowledge with the participants and the paper presenters our heartiest gratitude goes to the chief guest of the inaugural session professor ganga prasad prasen sir honorable vice chancellor tripura university central university tripura our chief patron professor balram pani sir dean of colleges university of delhi our guest of honor of to inaugural session professor rajendra kumar and professor athula ganapala sir for taking out time from their busy schedule and becoming the part of the international conference our special thanks to dr judith maveja director at graduate business school bindora university of science education zimbabwe to be the part of the valedictory session we would also like to extend our generous thanks to the professor madan lal sir patron of this conference and the president indian commerce association delhi ncr chapter for his entire support provided during this conference we would also like to thank professor amit kumar singh sir the co patron of this conference for his support and motivation we would also like to extend our thanks to conference convener dr tonderai fandura from graduate school of business and chairperson of conference and events committee faculty of commerce bindura university of science education zimbabwe for constantly guiding and motivating us for organizing this event our heartfelt gratitude to our respected principal sir professor rajesh giri for always being constant support of uh, source of motivation and support for all of us we are really fortunate to have such a dynamic personality as the head of our institution a special thanks to the organizing secretary of this conference and the convener of research affairs committee rajasthani college university of delhi professor rajendra kumar for his rock solid support system and encouragement with a deep sense of gratitude we thank you sir for bringing together the galaxy of intellectuals for such an insightful and intellectual learning thank you so much sir a special mention for mr shivam for providing his continuous support throughout this conference thank you so much shivam sir i would also like to extend our gratitude to the technical team especially mr sanjay sir for his flawless technical support throughout the conference we have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated colleagues of research affairs committee rajasthani college university of delhi who know their job and are result oriented a special thanks to the organizing committee members for their unflinching support and coordination last but not the least we must remark proficient sense of gratefulness to all our participants and paper presenters for being the part of this conference and making it an interactive learning experience hope the program was fruitful and benefit for you all and will try to keep coming back with such academic initiatives in the near future as well thank you very much have a great day ahead <clears throat> Uh, before uh, winding up this session uh, there are some important instructions the feedback link for the validatory session uh, has been dropped uh, in the chat box so all the participants and paper presenters are kindly requested to fill the feedback forms
Secondly, the certificates of participation and paper presentation will be mailed to your registered email ID within a week. And the last, uh, the selected papers will be published in a journal and the link for the same will be mailed to the selected presenters after the plagiarism test. The criteria for publication will also be mailed along with, so be updated. Thank you once again. Thank you, Bhumika ji. Thank you, Ansika ji. Thank you, Ravindra ji. Thank you, Professor Ritesh sir. Professor R.K. Singh sir, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Professor thank Madhavar ji. Thank you, Professor Rajesh Giri ji, Principal sir. Aapki vijay sahi sir, yeh sambhav hai sara ka sara. Hello, Principal sir. Oh, thanks to all the participants and paper presenters because without uh, the participation present uh, paper presenter is our conference is nothing so thanks special goes to the participant and paper presenters and each and everyone and special thanks to professor itesh sir has devoted time and a wonderful lecture sir and mother Lal, sir thank you thank you so much sir thank you thanks everyone thanks so much thank you thank you, thank you, thank you very much thank you sir. Okay, thank you, Madanji. Yeah. Okay, Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. 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 Namaskar.